Hello, you all. <laughs> I'm Elias, um, but I think most of you know me as Hazelcam. Um, well, some of you might be following my channel since 2016. Um, some of you might have just stumbled on me on YouTube. And well, <laughs> if you wondered what the face behind those videos looks like, here I am. I want to take you on a journey, a journey on the future of the channel, because the channel has been growing quite a bit. I actually reached now more than 30,000 subscribers. The first pyrolysis reactor system I actually posted has more than 1.8 million views. So I see that you are actually all quite interested in that. And it's really nice to see for me because it's, it's a hard project of mine. And well, there, there has actually been quite a lot of news in that regard. While working on the project, I partnered up with Mark. My name is Mark. I'm a PhD candidate at the Technical University of Munich with a chemical engineering background. And I'm part of the team WasteX with Elias, we're co-founders of the team. Around a year ago, Elias came to the chair where I work at as a PhD candidate and asked for support for his project with the pyrolysis system. And that's where I said, I have time, I want to help, the topic is interesting and we do something great for the environment. And my part is engineering and designing the pyrolysis system so we can uh, use and deploy it all over the world. Yeah, and actually, let me tell you guys, this collaboration between us it worked amazingly. We participated in the Tum Idea Award, which is an award for startups. And we won the second prize, let me tell you. We won 12 and a half thousand euros. Now we actually have the resources to take my old designs that were DIY and self-built and only safe because I built them and I used them myself, but you couldn't give them to anybody else. But with this money, these resources and these connections we now found, we can actually build a system that is user-friendly and that we can distribute all over the world, mostly in the global south, to tackle local plastic waste problems. And that's why we want to take you on a journey with us. We are planning to make a video series about developing and building the machine. And you can follow us and see how we achieve our goal with WasteX and a functional pyrolysis system until it's deployed. I think it would be best to start by explaining pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is actually the breakdown of organic molecules under an inert atmosphere, which is basically just a fancy word for there is no oxygen. The same thing actually happened to the dinosaurs. They got turned under the earth where there is no oxygen with a lot of heat and pressure into oil, which now power our cars. We actually do the same thing to plastic waste, but in a speed up process. It doesn't take millions of years, it just takes an hour for around three kilograms of plastic to get converted into three liters of crude oil. But instead of using the earth with the high pressure and temperature to break up dinosaurs into oil, we use a reactor to speed up a process. In our reactor we have a high temperature with atmospheric pressure, but this is enough to break up the plastic waste chains into small chains which make up our pyrolysis oil. Then the pyrolysis oil is um, evaporated and travels as a gas into a condenser where the condensation takes place. The condensation takes place in different stages, which is called fractionation. So we get different fractions depending on the boiling point of our gas or liquid. These different fractions make up the different fuels we can produce with our waste system. You see, pyrolysis itself is actually a pretty simple process. But to make it safe for the environment and to produce good fuel, you actually need chemical and chemical engineering expertise. Over the time, I got actually supported by quite a lot of companies. The first one was Vaca Chemistry. Vaca Chemistry gave me a rotational evaporator, an old one from their labs, for my lab, which actually helped me quite a lot in the beginning to analyze the pyrolysis oil, where I actually was still really new to the whole thing. Another partner of ours now is the German NGO ProOcean. They actually collect waste in the Philippines and they employ people to collect the waste and they actually pay them a really fair wage and they look after their people. They look that they are insured, for example. They are doing a really, really great job, but they have the problem that what they collect, only a part of it can be recycled. So they got in contact with me when they saw one of my YouTube videos. I'm actually now working for them. I'm 
project waste manager for them. <laughs> and together with them, we will be testing the reactor when it's done in the Philippines and actually have a field test to see if it is reliable for the conditions we want to put it in. We're going to take you with us to a video series where we show you how we do the next steps for our paralysis system. First, we're going to build the system and we're going to show you how the different components are made and the finished results, of course, also. Afterwards, we're going to do some testing and produce some fractions and these fractions need to be analyzed in a chemical laboratory. Yeah, and there I will take all of you with me into the lab and we will analyze the fractions together I will actually show you how the analyzing process is done to take you a bit in depth into chemistry, analytics and to see what we produce there, how it can be used, what of the fractions are petrol, what of the fractions are diesel. And when we're done with all the testing in Germany, we will take our system and we ship it into the Philippines and set it up with the guys from ProOcean and test it there, use the feedstock they provide which means the plastic waste their people collect on the beaches and see whether it holds up under the conditions we actually plan to use it in. So, we all will fly into the Philippines. I think this will be the most amazing part of our journey in this video series. Actually going to the Philippines, seeing if the system works like we planned it to work, and actually seeing the impact we can possibly make. Cleaning up the beaches and providing fuel for the truck they use to collect all that trash. We are very excited to take you on this journey with us. We're going to show you the development and deployment of the Waste Ax Paralysis System. On the Philippines, we can see the positive impact the Waste Ax System is going to have on the plastic waste problem worldwide. So, if we got you interested in plastic pyrolysis and Waste Ax, good! and stay tuned for all the amazing videos we have planned.